following wine is going to be the 2009 Vineyard Selection Pinotage. Now, obviously, Pinotage, as most of you will know, is a is unique to South Africa. We've looked at Pinotage on a specific site, which is probably atypical to what is normally done. We've positioned a vineyard, which is a tiny vineyard, only 2,5 hectares, on a south southwest facing slope, which by Cape standards would be perfect for white varietals that need a bit of, of cooling influence. But um, this vineyard is on decomposed granite soils um, with quite a high granite stone content to it. And it's positioned about 400 meters above sea level, which again gives it a distinctive edge. Pinotage in that vineyard, obviously with our knowledge of another site, in the Junkershoek Valley, you seldom get what we would commonly refer to a very typical Pinotage characteristic. We told ourselves in the growing and the winemaking team that irrespective of the varietal, let's just attempt to make the best possible wine. And having said that, it probably took a lot of uh, stress off our shoulders because what was happening is that we tended to want to look at the treatment of this in terms of its handling as more Pinot-like than, than Pinotage-like. So we typically look at that vineyard coming in very ripe, um, again, very pristine, clean fruit because of, of uh, quite a diligent sorting process. These berries are tiny, tough skinned, minimal juice. So these are destalked and crushed, but we would always retain a percentage as, as whole berries. And these whole berries almost give you a, a, an influence of carbonic maceration. So this adds another dimension to it. But again, we would look at this and rather be fermenting on the cooler side than the warmer side. And again, because Pinotage could have fairly aggressive tannins, we're very, very careful with our, our extraction techniques. And obviously, another important thing is appropriate oaking. Now, good Pinotage certainly has the ability to absorb lots of a new oak. We, again, don't want to overemphasize or to overplay our hand in terms of uh, of oaking, which obviously might be very exciting for some punters, but I think a discerning palate will certainly not enjoy that because I think what we're finding in this wine is layered red fruit, black fruits, dark plums, ripe cherries. I mean, this is, it fascinates one because it tends to manifest itself in so many different ways over a period of time. But 2009, I mean, just rich, ripe, as I say, quite plummy, plush, but framing that neat tannins, well-framed, soft, a sleek wine. But certainly we know that these wines age tremendously well and uh, I'd like to believe 2009 has the capacity to be going at least 15 years. Mm -hmm.